Hello and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and today is Groundhog Day in Woodbridge Township because we're going to every different school for the Have a Heart Drive. We're saying the same thing over and over again, uh, the same speech, and I half expect uh, Sonny and Cher to come with I Got You Babe on the radio here soon. <laughs> but in any, event, in any event, we are at uh, Matthew Jago School 28 with these wonderful students behind me who are part of the Student Council, and we're here to thank them for their uh, generous donation of food. And let me start by passing around the microphone. I want you each to tell me your name and what grade you're in. Or do you have titles in the student council or they're all just on student council? Just, yeah, okay, right. name and what grade, and then pass the microphone to the left. My name is Juliana, I'm in fifth grade. My name is Griana, and I'm, and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Adrian, and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Kiara, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Carly, and I'm in fourth grade. My name is Juliana, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Casey, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Marissa, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Kyle and I'm in fifth grade. Okay, and who wants to be the one to tell me how you guys collected all this food? Where Not you? Begin? Yeah, come on, how about it? Begin, no, yeah, tell, just tell us. How did we collect all the food? Hold this. How did you do it? Did you ask all the kids in, all this, in every class to bring in food? Mm-hmm. And then what? Uh, Where was the food uh, stored uh, until today? What did we do with it? You know? Okay, she's good. <laughs> All right, go for it. We handed out flyers to every grade for the food pantry, and then we stored all the food in Miss Taglarini and Miss Windell's class. All right, did you go to each class and, like, tell the kids how important it was that they bring food in? Yeah. No? No. Yeah. Do that. yeah. Do that. Okay. yeah. And announcements were made. Announcements all right. Were made. Anybody else want to add anything else? Who wants to tell me why it's important that you do things like collect food for people? Who wants to tell me why that's important? You do. <laughs> Tell me why it's important. Um, I don't know. Well, because, you know why. how about you? How about you, Kyle? Anybody? <laughs> Somebody. I'm also shy all of a sudden. You want to go again? All right, you want to go again. Try it again. Here, come here. Stand up and get You're the official spokesperson for the student council. What's your name again? My name is Juliana. <laughs> Juliana. Tell me, Juliana, why is it important that you do this for people? Because some people don't have enough money to, to get food, and they go hungry, so we have to give them food so they don't go hungry. And what, what, is, what, what happens to people that go hungry? Do they do well in school? No. Right? Why not? Because they can't focus well when they're hungry. Oh, very good. All right. <laughs> very good. And how does it make you feel that you maybe made a difference in somebody's life, that you brought in the food and they're going to get it and they're going to have, you know, food that otherwise wouldn't have had but, but for your efforts? How does that make you feel? It feels very good. All right. Terrific. Tell me, who are these two te these ladies here? Are they your teachers? That is Miss Windell and that is Miss Taglarini. All right. And they are, are they the student council advisors? Yeah. All right. Very good. And how do you get on student council in school 28? Does the teachers pick you or the principal Ye pick you? The, our teachers pick us. Your teachers pick you? Yeah. Oh, there's a vote. Yeah. yeah. So you guys are like me. You won an election. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's cool to win elections. Yeah. Just don't get any ideas about being mayor. <laughs> Not for a while yet, okay? I got a, got a couple more terms in me, all right? Yeah. How old are you? I am 11. 11. So I'm, let's see, three more. Mm -hmm. well, after college, you can run for mayor, <laughs> all right? And since okay. you're doing a great job with the food drive, I'll endorse you for mayor. Cool. Very cool. All right. Thank you very much. Let me ask um, Peter Barcelona, speaking of Groundhog Day, to say the same thing <laughs> over and over every school. Come on over. It's important that these kids hear why. Yeah, thank so, you. So let me tell you what happens here. There's Normally you don't like a middleman. Middlemen in business, you don't need them. But in the case of food drives, you need a middleman. So Peter's the guy that takes all the food that's collected from the people who donate and who collect it, brings it all to a central place in town, and then he makes sure it gets distributed to the different food pantries. Because otherwise you'd have 11 different pantries going to all the different schools and it would be all, all messed up and all convoluted and all confusing. So Peter is the one focus. Everything goes to one place and everything gets distributed from that one place. And that's what Peter's in charge of. So go ahead, Peter. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, again. Thank you to Matthew Jago School 28. Uh, you guys do a great job. Uh, as we said in the past, we're over 20,000 pounds of food for this food drive. Um, we haven't tallied the money yet, but the food is very important. Our food pantries, we have 11. We serve approximately 600 families per month. Um, most of those families are working poor people, so there are neighbors in our neighborhoods. So actually, you're helping your neighbor, which is a wonderful thing to do. Um, the monies we collected is split amongst our food pantries. Uh, we work with the food, uh, community food bank in Hillside, uh, which is a uh, warehouse in Hillside. Uh, that money is put on account up there, and our pantries can draw down from that account. From there, we purchase um, dry goods as well as perishable foods, milk, uh, dairy, meats, ch chickens. Whatever comes through that warehouse, we have the opportunity to purchase it. We put an order in, and then the, uh, it's trucked back down to our food pantries. But locally here, um, we need you. We are part of our network at that point that uh, help feeding a lot of people in Woodbridge. So thank you very much. All right. So who heard what Peter said, what they do with the money? Because sometimes we ask people to give food, and if people don't give food, they bring money. Why, what do we do with the money? What, what's missing here? What kind of food is missing here that everybody needs every day? Anybody want to take a guess? Come on, somebody. Yeah, what do you need besides cans and boxes of food? What? Water. What else? What else do you drink in the morning? Juice. Juice. All right. Like what? milk. Milk. Right. And what do you have? Um, cereal. Cereal. Okay. Well, cereal's here, but there's also what? What else you're missing? Like you make, you make toast with it. Oh, butter. Butter. <laughs> I meant um, bread. Bread. Right. But bread, butter's the answer too, right? And how about um, eggs. eggs? Right. Because all this food doesn't have to go in a what? Refrigerator. How come people didn't donate eggs or chicken? Because what? Because that has to go in a refrigerator. Right, right. And we don't have refrigerators. So that's where the money comes in. And the money buys the eggs and the cheese and the bread and the milk. And that goes to people, which is pretty cool too, right? Mm -hmm. You guys are smart. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much.